Hello everyone. Today we will be trying to understand how to calculate the number of atoms per unit cell in a body centered cubic unit cell. Now we know that a body centered cubic unit cell has an atom at each of its corner and also one atom at its body center which is shown clearly in the figure. In this figure you can clearly see this is the center atom and you can clearly see the other eight corner atom that is what actually a body centered cubic unit cell is now try to understand from the figure you can clearly understand that the atom in the body center will not be shared with the adjacent unit cell as a result of which that particular body centered atom will be wholly belonging to that particular unit cell as we can see from figure C also as a result of which that whole atom belongs to that particular unit cell so remember that the contribution of a body centered atom to a particular unit cell is 1 which means that it wholly belongs to that particular unit cell it is not shared with any other adjacent unit cell in the crystal lattice unlike the corner atoms which is shared with the other adjacent unit cell as a result of which only one eighth of a corner atom belongs to a particular unit cell. Now going for the calculation you can clearly see that we have eight corner atoms and multiply with one eighth per corner atom as I have told you a corner atom is shared one by eight to each unit cell to each adjacent unit cell so one unit cell gets one eighth so you have eight corner atoms multiply by one by eight which gives you one atom the second one is the body centered atom the body center atom as I, as we have learned that it belongs wholly to that particular unit cell so the contribution will be one so one body center atom multiply by the contribution that is one which gives you one atom so the total number of atoms per unit cell in case of body centered cubic unit cell will be 2. To understand it more properly let us try to see the three dimensional representation of a body centered cubic unit cell. You can clearly see that particular central atom that particular body centered atom is not touching any of the face any of the corner it is just present within the unit cell that is what we have discussed whenever we talk about a body centered atom it wholly belongs to that particular atom so it will not be shared so if we try to see what will happen if we if we have adjacent atom or what will happen if we share it okay if the corner atom will be shared so that is the actual picture of a body centered cubic unit cell okay where you can see the eight corner atoms see and see that body centered atom which is just hiding in between those eight corner atoms and there is no chance that if I bring any adjacent unit cell it will be shared with it any other adjacent unit cell cannot touch it but as we know that the corner atom will be shared one by eight so if we share it and if we just keep one by eight of that corner atom each corner atom what do we get is this see so we have cut off the one by eight part of each corner atom and can you see that the body center atom is wholly belonging to that particular unit cell see it is not shared the whole atom is still in the unit cell so that's why we are writing one into one one body center atom multiply by one and can you see the other eight 
only the one eighth of that atom is present. So that is what we meant. So if you try to take this, this is what we understand that in a body centered cubic unit cell, we have two atoms, one corner atom and one body centered atom. Thank you very much.